What's up, everybody? Captain Leon Wolf here. Hey, Billy here. What's up? Francis here. It's Cap and the boys. You know what it is. Uh, Skyward Sword. Z Zelda. Uh, HD. That's the title. Uh, episode 10. <laughs> Skyward HD Zelda Sword. Skyward. Exactly. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're about to go up to this little darkness pedestal, and it's probably it's probably going to be totally fine. Yeah, no, it's nothing scary about it at all. I'm not terrified. Not even not even a little bit. I love the darkness. You know, my farts look like that. My farts look like little little you know, black clouds. So I'm used to this. Yeah, I know they do. It's they smell terrible. Well, you know, it's part of being a vampire. You know. Yeah, my least favorite part. But, you know, I, I still love you. Aw, oh, thanks. All right, well, <laughs> let's fucking get into this. Thank you so much, Astra. Turn that down. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Yeah? What's up? Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. So we like shoot it with the fucking powers? I have the power. Give me the give it give me the power. Give it. Give me give me the power. Hey, come on. Come. Hey. Give me the I have the power. Fucking suck my Fuck your ass already! What the fuck? Get, you, you try it. Yeah, there we, we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was holding the fucking Joy-Con up to the fucking sky. All right. Oh, the holes! Whoa, steamy holes. Steamy ground holes. Steamy ground about holes. Oh. We gotta turn on the sound, that's my bad. Uh, I'm in charge of that. I'll take full responsibility for that. Let me just turn that bad boy up. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your self-craft. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. It smells just like her. Oh, I love her smell. That's weird. I can lead you in the direction it's not that weird of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Because <clears throat> you look really stupid. You might need some explanation. Yeah, I am really stupid. Can you tell me? <laughs> of course, as you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. Just the tip. Just the tip. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests its through the vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer, you see. Oh, I got a little Zelda picture. Hold the up button and select Zelda as your dowsing target. Then point in the direction you wish to search. Okay. So we're gonna douse for... Okay, whoa. Okay, game. Game. Chill. Alright, douse. Douse. Douse? How does this fucking work? I have no idea. Let me, uh. uh douse? I'm hitting it again and it's not working. Okay, we have to hold it. Doi. Whoa. We're all purple. Whoa, it's, vi it's vibrating. Oh, it's vibrating as well. Oh, there's an arrow. Oh. oh. Found her. She's right here. Can we, what do we do? Do we just, do we just go in that direction? I, I would assume so. I mean, why not, you know? Oh, we're climbing. Can we, uh, sailcloth? Yep, we can. Sailcloth up. Oh, it's like a little, uh, it's like a little elevator. Little windy butthole elevator. That's very convenient. <clears throat> I wish there was more windy butthole uh, elevators. 
Yeah, no, there's definitely not enough. Okay. All right. All right, Windy Butthole. I see how that's going to be. You're going to not send me where I need to be, and I don't appreciate that. Um, now I know why those hearts were up there, because we can, like, go use this little, uh... This little uh, sailcloth, whatever the fuck this is. It's like a piece of towel. No, oh, it's a sailcloth that Zelda made. It's, it's very nice. Can we break this? Break it. Break it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, nice try though. Um, let's go, let's run. We're running, we're running, we're running, and we're running, we're running to the objective. Uh, oh wow, maybe we should go to that shiny building that's like glowing. Yeah, that might be that might be a good spot to go to. Let's uh let's double let's douse again. Douse it. Yeah, no, this is exactly where we gotta go. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Yeah, just go into the direction of the glowy objects. That's that's how it works. You know, I, every time I play like an Assassin's Creed game, there's always like a, a glowing light in the direction of where you need to go. I like that. Um, I got a little brain. You know, I need I need that. You know, I need that direction. Cause I just like, I look and I'm like, oh, do I go in any direction, you know? But I need the game to be like, no, no, go left. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go left. Otherwise, I'll go every single direction. But sometimes that's fun. Like in God of War, going all the directions in God of War, getting everything in the nooks and crannies. Oh, yeah, that's such a good game, the, the one for the PS4. <clears throat> I really enjoyed that one. Oh shit, we're about to go into darkness. Okay, it's not that dark. Okay. It's okay. It's not that dark. I thought you liked the darkness. You like you like live in the darkness. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, yeah, I am the night. I am I was born in the shadows. I was born in the shadows. Can we save Save, please. Wow. We I am so thankful for autosave. Holy crap. Yeah, me too. I cannot imagine what is this about? Oh my god. Um, well, we did talk about this in the first episode. This is the ingenious part of the game, the ability to sit. Yeah, it's it's a wonder, you know? Not a lot of games can do that, you know? I try to do that in Super Mario 64 and can't do it, you know? You can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really don't think you're uh, appreciating the ability to sit. Well, I really appreciate the ability to pick this up. Oh, I could throw it by holding A. Nope, not not by doing that. By how did I? Oh, motion control. Oh. Oh wow, there's nothing in them. Okay. Maybe there's something in here. Oh, hey, there's a rupee. Nice. Um, I feel like we would catch that, but we don't really have a bug snap, so... I don't really want to kill it. Yeah, me neither. It's a little cricket. It's a cute little cricket. Oh, look, a fairy! Whoa, does this mean, like, if we, like, die, this playful spirit, this will bring us back to life? Is it, is it just, like, uh, BLT Dobbs? Or is this diff? Oh, that is a pointy. You are in a little tent. You have a tent hat. Oh, and you have a stopwatch made out of hair. That you're trying to... Whoa, I'm getting really sleepy. Guys, 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 don't stare into the hair. Don't stare into the hair. Okay, okay. Just look at the hat. Just look at the hat. Okay. Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Look at my hair. No, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Look at it. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, Bob, Phil. Oh, Link. Link. Very good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. <laughs> Even though you are terrible at doing it, I saw you. The skyward strike is yours to command, but you have terrible commanding of that. Alright, dude. 
It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. All so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Wow, this is kind of like the monks from from Breath of the Wild. I, we're going to keep saying Breath of the Wild constantly, but, like, there are correlations. There are some relations. Like, uh, the monks, they, they wait, like, a, like a bajillion years or some shit. Like, a long time. I don't remember. Is it, like, 100 or 10,000 or longer? I don't remember. But they wait a long time to help out the the chosen one of the courage. Yes, the... The Triforce of uh, Courage. The, I mean, the Courage part of the Triforce. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Okay, yes. Look at into the light. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess in a day or two ago. I sealed this temple. Why did you open it? It was sealed for a reason. Now I have to change the name. It's going to have to go through a whole processing. It's a big, long ordeal. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago, but it's still, it's very inconvenient. I have to call the, 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 the people that deal with that. It's, it's, I don't want to talk about it. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a short light. There's no doubt it. I'm changing, I'm getting younger by the second. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Oh, the pointy hat can bend. Yet all it is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. Uh, moves to the warp the destiny of which you two are part. Link, look into my hair. No, no, no. Voice. I you sleep, I no, but come on, snap out of it, boys. Oh, come on, I'll spot. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts. <laughs> that is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose. She must pursue as you do. As do you. She set out for the Farren Woods to discover that destiny for herself. And you must follow her. Hello. Show me your map. Give it to me. Let me look at your map. All right, here. Look. Look at the X. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here. A map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at the location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to press the beacon. Okay, so I'm not gonna. There's gonna be so many more times. I'm 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 getting the I'm getting the uh, the idea that there's gonna be so many more times that the game is is reminding uh, you know us of of Breath of the Wild. And I'm not going to say them every single time now. That, that was the last one. But just setting the beacons and the fact that you can see them glowing up, it's cool. I like that. But, all right. No more no more BOT dubs talk during the game, okay? Yeah, no, even though, you know, it is so similar. <laughs> you haven't set a beacon over X yet, you stupid moron. To remove a beacon from your map, point at it and press A once more. If you aim to be more accurate with the placement of your beacons, zoom in with R before you lay down. Okay, I can zoom in. Go on. Uh, oops. Measure control. Uh, let go. No! God, suck my... Uh, how do I... Do I have to press it again? Oh, I do. I have to pick it up. Gotta pick it up. There we go. Huh? Is that perfect? That looks fucking perfect. I don't care what you think. Though you cannot see it from here where you are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through up the front doors and see you for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go on now. You must head into Fern Woods and chase after the spirit maiden. The one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. 
What do you find there should prove useful to you on your journey? Oh, now definitely look at my hair. It's glistening. That's right, because I use conditioner. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travels. Here, take my phone, order an Uber for yourself. They are very convenient in the Ferran Woods. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. As for the wages of the Uber drivers, they get paid fairly, so don't feel bad. For now, Link, go bravely. Uh, can I use lift? Okay, never mind. All right, see, see ya. All right, well, let's go check, uh, let's, well, actually, we're, we're gonna pause it right here, and, um, we're gonna, uh, take this up in the next episode. So, thank you all so much for joining us. Hey, you liked the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. This has been Kevin the Boys, signing off.